All right. Yeah. So this one uh, on the uh, the box cover artwork, you can kind of see it. I'll show it in the video too. But the artwork depicts them having this like spectral, magical interior glow. That's where they get their like well, reanimated an corpse life. They're an animated yeah. skeleton. Skeletons yeah. in general don't just get up and walk around. They got to be magical. Yeah. So there's some kind of little bit of magic making these skeletons walk around and and fight their enemies. And uh, yeah, this time around, I just wanted to cover a real simple approach to kind of laying some OSL, some internal light, you know, coming out of like the uh, empty eye sockets and if the mouth... Even the mouth a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. If the mouth happens to be open, then we're putting light in there too. All right. Thanks for tuning in for another installment on our sepulchral, sepulchral uh, guard video. We've been uh, debating how to pronounce that, but uh, <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't flow off of my tongue so easily. But uh, anyways, so what we're doing now is I wanted to create some kind of OSL effect. It's going to be real real quick and dirty, but on the, uh, the box artwork, you can see the little dude has like kind of an internal enchantment magical glow coming from his skull. So I'm going to try to mimic that. And to do that, the uh, colors involved, I've got some Murderous Magenta from P3, my uh, Foundation White from Vallejo, and then I have, uh, I mixed up some purple inks from these uh, FW inks. I just got the, the red one and the blue one mixed together to make purple. So we're going to start by just adding a white base coat to the area that we want the OSL to be. <clears throat> Should be inside the eye sockets if the mouth is open. Well, it'll be coming out of there too, brother. So, I'll just add a little white into the eyes, like so. And as fortune would have it, this guy's mouth is wide open. So I'll just add some purple into that. And the reason I'm adding the white in there is because I want it to be bright and it's going to provide a better foundation to uh, paint the purple on top of. If I just started throwing the purple on top of black, it would be a little more affected by the, the black undercoat. So the white will allow it to come up through a little more vibrantly. So next I'll just mix uh, a little bit of the foundation white together with the murderous magenta. I'm doing that kind of off screen here, but I'm just going to show you on my thumbnail again. So it's kind of a, a bright uh, pink tone, and I'm just going to cover up all the white that I did. Like so. Get inside the mouth. And I'll even wash some down into the temple area. Just a little bit. I'm gonna do it on a, a few guys for you because it's it's such a quick and simple process. So I wanted to repeat it a few times because sometimes uh, variations can come up based on the sculpt. Like this guy has more of a an overhanging helmet over his eyes, so left a edge highlight some of the uh, brow bones as they catch the our chosen OSL color. There we go. Some white eyes in there. And then this dude. Super cool. I love the guy coming out of the ground. It's a good call on GW's part. I don't know. I think all these uh, skeleton sculpts are pretty cool in here. We were talking about that behind the scenes. And it's like, finally, some decent skeletons from GW. Their hands aren't the size of boxing gloves, and they're in dynamic poses. How fun. Not to say previous ones were exceptionally bad. I've seen a lot worse, but the hand size thing was something that always kind of bugged me about them. There we go. 
Just wash a little pink in there. Look at this guy too. And I'm able to uh, bring it to the outer edges. I'll edge highlight. He's got like a nose protector as part of his helmet. I don't know what that's the official like medieval terminology is for that. A nasal blocker maybe. All right. So that's all good. Now we'll just add a little water to my uh, the purple that I mixed up. Uh, mixed from inks. I'll show you my thumb again. It's a very thin consistency. Just kind of add a hint of a tone. And we'll just wash it on the model. Get a little bit on his temples. So obviously since, since this is internally lit and you're putting a wash into these pitted eyes, we well, don't want the middle of the eye to turn out, turn out all dark, so kind of cleaning the brush out and then just soaking up some of that purple that, that dipped into there. Hit the other guys here. And we're doing this wash on kind of the general area because with OSL, and light sources in general, it tends to cast a bit of a glow and affect everything around it versus like just dry brushing on top of something. You want to account for the light bending around some of the, the corners and stuff, but also not being as bright as the, the origin of the light source. Get inside his mouth there. Dab up the middle. Might take a couple tries. Get that correct dab. Very cool. My first guy here should be dry. So that's what we're looking at. And now, I'm just going to redo a little bit more of that edge highlighting to kind of bring out the outer areas. Just like that. <clears throat> there, like so. And I'm gonna go, and this will take a little bit of practice, take a white dot on the end of my paintbrush and drop it into the, right into the center of the eyes here. And if you screw it up, just go back and paint over it. It's a pretty quick technique. But I'm doing this because I'll then uh, go back and put another purple wash on everything. And this white dot should show through as the brightest point, the closest, uh, or the origin of the source lighting. Oh, I already did him. Get this ground creeper dude. Yeah, I can see the desired effect is already starting to take place. I'll go back with the wash, and I'm using a very diluted amount now because it's going to going to pool up in that pitted eye socket. So we don't want it to like just dominate that little uh, white dot we put in there. But as we know with miniature painting, slight amounts are kind of the way to go for a lot of these finer techniques. So I'll go back and uh, soak up the center. And voila! Try to get it in a good focus there. So there's the uh, general approach to the OSL on these guys. Just uh, kind of a quicker, dirtier effect. Because we're going for a tabletop quality on these.
They're not going to win any awards, but they might win some tournaments. Let's get our original guy. So there you can see the, the little white dots showing through nicely through our purple wash. And it also adds a decent amount of contrast. It kind of brings, adds a little bit of life to the color scheme. It's nice to bring in those foreign colors. And yeah, thanks for tuning into this series. Uh, thanks to Adam and the whole team at Tabletop Minions for putting this together. If you want to catch up with me, on my kind of more of a daily basis of my work, The Fantasy Art of Sam Lenz on Facebook and samsonminis.blogspot.com on the general web. So uh, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time.